In this video, I'll be showing you how to create these beautiful borax crystals and this plastered base. To begin, you'll need a box of borax, pipe cleaners, and wooden dowels. You're going to take your pipe cleaners and shape them into whatever shape you desire. I decided to involve my daughter in this project and she returned them to me saying she created a hula hoop. Not exactly what I had in mind, but I figured I would work with what she gave me. At this point, I'm contemplating what's going to be the front of the piece and what is going to be the back. Since I want this piece to stand erect, I decided to attach this wooden dowel and make it a permanent fixture to the crystals. So here I'm just attaching it with the pipe cleaners and adding some reinforcement to the dowel. This next step is just a support piece. You'll see how important it is in a couple of seconds, but it's needed in order to avoid this, um, these pipe cleaners from settling on the bottom of your pot. You'll now want to fill a pot with water and bring that to a boil. If you choose to color your crystals, now's the time to do so. I decided to add blue and red together because I didn't have purple food dye. Once the water has come to a boil, you want to remove it and now add your borax powder. It's important to note that this utensil and this pot is only used for creating borax crystals. I'm now placing the pipe cleaners into the pot and covering that up for a full 24 hours. And here you have your beautiful crystals. We're now removing the support to the crystals and all you have to do is just simply twist it off and it comes off pretty easy. I felt the color of the crystals were a little too light for my liking so I decided to add some alcohol ink to the back of the piece. This way I still get a subtle effect without it being overwhelmingly strong in color.
At this point, you can leave your piece as is, but I decided that I want the look of gilded edges. So I decided to go with uh, hot glue over the concrete to give me the look that I wanted. At this point, I didn't realize that I had left a um, wax stick in here. So this is wax coming out. And what follows is the hot glue. It's still the same thing. I'm now adding my adhesive for the gold foil. I'm pretty happy with how these crystals turned out as well as the gold foil. As for the concrete that I applied to the crystals, I feel that they need some color, so I'm gonna go over that with some alcohol ink. Here I have a makeshift mold that I made with a box that I found in one of my cabinets. I know that I wanted a rectangular base, but I didn't have that type of mold. So I created this. Originally I wanted a concrete base, but being that the box is irregular and didn't hold a strong form, I decided to go with plaster because I know I can sand plaster as opposed to concrete. So here I'm adding the layer of plaster and then I'm going in with some glass chips. This way I could expose those chips uh, later on in the process. Since the glass chips didn't come through and the plaster is still soft, I decided to go in with my palette knife and kind of excavate through some of those glass chips to expose them. After some sanding and exposing those glass chips, this was the end result. If you notice at the top of the base, I added another wooden dowel. This was just for aesthetics, only because it looked a little off-center. I have to say I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys love this video and would like to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe.